final of the 3,000 meter steeplechase with a very good field. Alessandro Labruschini is in lane one. Bubuslav Mimitsky, Raymond Pagnier, Alzadine Brahmi, Henry Marsh, United States, Peter Koetsch, William Van Dyke, Julius Karyuki, Hagen Meltzer, Mark Rowland, Graham Fell, Francesco Panetta, and Patrick Sang. And we're ready to go. Just over seven laps. And all three Kenyan runners lined up on the outside, not where they were assigned, and go right to the back of the pack. They want to stay out of trouble. William Van Dyke and Francesco Panetta taking the lead as Panetta sets the pace. A total of 28 barriers plus the seven water jumps. And this is Panetta's style. When he won the world championships last year, he did the same thing. Went to the front because he knows he doesn't have the kick. He doesn't have the finish of many of the other runners in this race. Number 87, you see, is William Van Dyke. 452 is Mark Rowland. And Francesco Panetta now controlling the race. Raymond Pagne of France is running third. And Hagen Meltzer of East Germany is also there in the top four. As well, kind of jockey back and forth. And Henry Marsh has taken his accustomed spot in the back of the pack. Every race, Henry ends up here in the first lap. Is there a particular reason for that? I think he likes to stay out of trouble, and he likes to work his way up through the middle of the race. It's just how he feels he runs best. And it is good. When you pass people, you can get a lift from going by, and I think that's what Henry likes to do. And Julius Karyuki now moving up on the outside, and Peter Koetsch going right with him. Karyuki, Koetsch, and Sang, the three Kenyans, could have a sweep in this event. They have really been running well this year. They have consistently won the steeplechases on the European Tour, trading back and forth. Karyuki is the most competitive. Koetsch has the fastest time. And Henry Marsh continues to trail the pack. Is there a particular time that Henry would make a move? Henry usually waits until the latter part of the race, within the last two laps, before he really makes a move. And early on, it can be smart to run back there, especially in the steeplechase. These barriers do not fall over the way they do in the other events. When you hit them, you go down. They do not go down. And so you have to give everyone else a lot of leeway. And the most dangerous part of this race is when they're going over the barriers. Francesco Panetta continues to lead with William Van Dyke running behind him. Hagen Meltzer is also there. And then the Kenyans, that is Peter Koetsch and Julius Karyuki. And with just under three laps to go in the final of the men's 3,000 steeplechase, it is Francesco Panetta, William Van Dyke, Julius Karyuki, Peter Koetsch, Hagen Meltzer, Mark Rowland, and Graham Fell. And everyone is literally running in a line with Henry Marsh bringing up the rear. But this is all right at this point in the race because he has not lost contact. It's hard to tell the pace in the steeplechase because they run to the outside of the track. They don't stay inside, so you don't really know how fast they're running. You'll, you have to wait until the end of the race. Now, Patrick Sang is moving up from 8 to 7. He is the third Kenyan. As the other two, Peter Koetsch and Julius Karyuki, are running up amongst the leaders. And something is going to happen very soon because when they come by the finish line, they're only going to have three laps to go. When Francesco Panetta won his world championships, he was much further ahead at this point. I think he is in real trouble. I think the Kenyans look very good. I gave you a miscount on the laps. You're right, Frank. There's three to go now. Karyuki in third, Koetsch in fourth. They look very good. Van Dyke starting to fade a little bit, but I think this is more a question of Panetta trying to break away. He's just trying to break away, and he can't. Now, here come the two Kenyans, Julius Karyuki and Peter Koetsch, and Patrick Sang is back in seventh place. And so far, everybody has cleared all of the hurdles. And Henry Marsh beginning to fall back a little bit. The front group is beginning to get away. Stragglers are starting to drop behind. Henry better get up there if he wants a medal. Does not look good for Henry Marsh at this point. I wish he were closer to the front. Francesco Panetta. 
There is Henry. And there go the Kenyans. Two laps to go in the finals of the men's 3,000 steeplechase. It is Peter Koetsch, Julius Karyuki, Francesco Panetta, the two Kenyans, taking the lead from, for the first time, as Francesco Panetta has led throughout the race. And Patrick Sang, the third Kenyan, is beginning to move up, but the two Kenyans in front are starting to develop a little gap. And meanwhile, Francesco Panetta has dropped way back. One, two, three, four, five. He is back in sixth place, and he is fading. Now he is in seventh, and soon will be in eighth. And Mark Rowland from Great Britain has gone after the two Kenyans with a third Kenyan right behind. So we have Koech Karayuki Sang. So the Kenyans now going for the sweep with Peter Koech, Julius Karayuki, Mark Rowland, Patrick Sang. And the other person to watch... Lugosrov Mamitsky of Poland. And the Italian, Alessandro Lambruschini, coming up, looking very good in fourth place. There goes Kariuki, taking the lead. And Patrick Sang is dropping back. The Kenyans will not sweep. Kariuki has the, has the lead, and he is pulling away. It looks like Kariuki at this point, but Koic is not letting him go. Look at Koic. He's coming back. Mark Rowland beginning to fade a little bit. Kariuki, Koic and Roland for the medals right now. Alessandro Lombroschini of Italy is there to pounce if anybody falters or falls. And they can in this race. You think it's over and then wham, somebody hits one of those barriers. The water barrier. Oh, and Koetsch hurdles it. He did not step on it. Koetsch in second place hurdle, but that's not gonna be enough. One barrier remaining. There's a hurdle, and another hurdle, and another hurdle. And Henry Marsh crosses the finish line. Julius Karyuki, Peter Koetsch, Mark Rowland of Great Britain. The gold, the silver, and the bronze. Yep. And they just missed the world record. 8.05.51, still another Olympic record. What a meet this has been. Coming over the final water jump, Julius Karayuki is ahead. Peter Coet says, I have to catch him. I'll do anything to do it. He goes right over and hurdles it. That was a risk, but in the Olympic Games, you take the risk. And Julius Karayuki just ran away with this race. He had more strength. This is a race of strength. And also Mark Rowland, that's an upset for the bronze with a very good choice. 